Hi everyone. Um, this is April second. I was somewhere around 10, 10 in the morning. So I'm getting started on my two forty. We're gonna find out today if I can get the car turning over with the starter. See if maybe I have a ground problem or maybe it's something else in the car. I don't know. So yeah, and I don't know if y'all hear that. The sound in the back. The pump in my waterfall for my bearded dragon is empty again after filling up just last night this room stays pretty warm now so and hey uh good news she's pretty fat right now so she's ate her other mouse just yesterday and she's doing a lot better just from two days so but i'll show you a picture of her later on so all right let's get the tools get the battery and go put it on the car okay what seemed like maybe 30 or so minutes i finally found the ground and my tools uh, my bad thing about me is i will forget where i left my tools which i'm sure that goes for a lot of people but the ground that i got is a snake looking thing it has one spot on it that you hook to and then has and the end has three different places um just had something laying around so um, figure out where I can put it on this car and let's see if I can get it started I was probably going to see if I could maybe put one down there by the starter itself go yeah I don't know how I'm going to do this maybe the three spots off of the car and then the one main one goes to the body I don't know, we'll figure, I'll figure it out how it goes. Okay, I have the wire hooked up now. I got the spot right there on the battery going straight back to this dude right here. Going to the throttle body. From here, it goes down to the chassis right here. And then back here, it's going back on that side to hook to the other side of the um, intake. So <clears throat> I hear dinging in there. So at least it's getting power. Yeah, a little dinging noise. Let's see. Huh. I see any lights? Nothing. So, yeah, that ground's not hooked up very good to the battery. I gotta figure out something to make it work. Strip the wire and just wrap it. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna strip the wire and hook it for now. Just to see if we can get this thing going. Here's my problem. I'm about to have to pull the starter out because yeah, it just wants to spin. So pull it out and see what's wrong with it. Maybe I got something messed up on it. So it's just, as everybody knows, two bolts comes right out. Easy to get to. So all right. Oh yeah, I was going to show y'all, um, like with this car, right now, as you hear, it's dinging, <laughs> oh boy, and it's a working, so I got lights, got brights, turn my brights off, and if y'all see down there, I got lights down through there in every vent, the way this works, is it's tapped into my um, my dim lights so whenever I have my dims on those lights come on but let me see if I can get on there okay right there so when I flip them on they go off it's just something that I thought would be pretty neat to do make them look a little bit better and I don't know, uh, it's too bright, y'all not going to see my gauge cluster, but my gauge cluster is pure white, so, yeah, and this is what I'm talking about, I'm just missing a couple of these little plugs, so get that, get the fit, get it all together, I do, I think I have the piece that goes around the steering column, if not, then I'll be definitely looking for that, um, I haven't looked online for a new dash, Hey, and I want to say thank you for the guys that thought it was nice, it was clean dash, but yeah, to me, I just don't like the cracks in it, so it's coming off, so I can put another dash on it. Final net's a lot better looking, so, but, um, besides that, let me see if I can get this starter off and see if we can, uh, get it working correctly. Like I said, uh, hopefully I just got something wired up backwards. is gonna be dumb me right here always forgetting I was literally just hooking up to these two I never remembered to hey my key goes to here because the only thing this wiring harness does not have is a spot to the wire for your key your ignition to go to the harness to the starter so you got to make your own so I forgot to say, hey, I need a wire going from my key to here, or let's say a button, like a switch, just going to here, telling this to go. It's spinning. It's just not engaging. So, da 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 da. Now let's get this back in that car and see if I can get this thing working. Okay, a little update is I actually got it working. But either it's clicking or it's going really slow. So I got the battery charger on it, it's on boost. 
So maybe we can get this thing actually turning over. If not, then I don't know. I've always said that if this engine doesn't work right, I'm going to Jay-Z. So, I don't know. Let's hopefully it works. Because I really don't want to go and get another motor. Because I don't have the money for it. So, along with that truck. And this Maverick. That I gotta... The Maverick runs. It's just the multi-spark discharge box for the ignition went out. So, I gotta buy that dude. But I'm also wanting to start on it by uh, fixing it up. I mean, like completely restoring it. Um, everything I've said I was going to do in the first videos. But since that's my best car I got right now, I'm focusing on this one and that one. That truck, hopefully I can get that truck running here next month or so. Um, I don't know how it's going to go now with this coronavirus thing and everything shutting down because i got to go to the junkyard and get a lot of the stuff. But, and uh, there's quite a, there's a couple things I can order online, but most of us come from the junkyard. But this 240, this is the, this 240 is the one that's furthest away. I still got, like, like I was talking in the first video, I still got to get the turbo, uh, the kit and all that. I got some piping, but I want to get actually everything. So I can slowly bolt it on. I need new fenders. Like I was talking about, I want the Duraflex fenders. I got the ones I want to pick out. And I want a body kit for the car. So that would be new bumpers and new side skirts, as everybody knows. But the style I'm wanting to go with is kind of like the Rocket Bunny kit. Nothing extreme. Just a nice clean kit. And then it's to paint the car. But as you can tell, I still need seats. I still need some interior pieces, and I'm even talking about changing the dash out. So yeah, this car is still a long ways away before even running. I'm just hopefully today I can actually get the engine turning over. If I can get it turning over, then awesome. And oh yeah, the like I was talking about the turbo, I do kind of want to switch the turbo out to like a T3 or a T4. Uh, set up nothing too extreme and I'll need a downpipe for the top mount that goes down to the exhaust so hey the parts I just listed if anybody watches the video and has those shoot me a comment or go find me on Facebook or something shoot me a message I mean I'll buy them from you if I have the money definitely so, I, I just need parts. And I went ahead and took this fender off because I got tired of it just rubbing that door. So, it's laying right there. You might have saw me kind of throw it when I did because, like I said, I don't care about the fenders. I don't want the fenders. So, yeah. And I still got tools to buy for the car. I mean, for instance, I said I was going to powder cut the rims. So, I need to go get the powder gun kit. And I plan on buying the dual voltage uh, powder gun setup from Eastwood. So I'm actually planning on getting that here before sum uh, summer gets here. So we'll see. So, all right. Try to play with this a little bit more. I'm trying to give it time for this mo uh, battery to charge up. Maybe that's what's causing it to lag. I can hook on with the... Uh, socket and all and turn it over manually it's not stuck it moves pretty freely until it starts building up compression but once compression's over with it's working it's real free to move so yeah I'm just thinking I don't have enough voltage to it and heck it could be my wires I didn't know I used to have a uh, small wire now actually looking at that little clip I'm remembering a lot of stuff um, so I did have a small wire going from there to my ignition wire and so yeah but i gotta find out what wires actually went to that starter i cannot remember if these wires went to it now where do they go um right here i got this one let's see yep that and then this it definitely looks like it but the problem is they don't fit yeah, it just does not fit. I mean, it will not go on those threads. So, I don't know. Play with it a little bit and see what I can do. So, 
I'm not really videotaping me working on this thing because you're just going to see the front of the car. You're not actually going to see me do nothing. But I am, like I said, I am going to do maybe a minute or two of me working on it. So, all right, let's see what I can do. Okay, so I'm just taking me a small break. Man, I'm enjoying a cookie that my wife made from scratch. It's awesome. But, um, so what I'm doing right now is I kind of drifted off from messing with the starter because the car start was just turning over really slow. And what I was doing was I was going straight from the battery to the starter and then I just had a little switch like a little wire I can just touch the battery with and it was turning over really slow so what I'm doing is it's been a while since I worked on this car I mean I had so many other things come up and and the downfall of that was I just completely forgot on what to do to this car and how the wiring actually goes and I I have not learned how to use or read a full wiring schematic. It's kind of like gibberish to me still. So I'm searching the web uh, internet for pictures or anything. Tell me uh, if there's a, a relay or something to the starter that I need to go through. And uh, yeah, and the problem is, it's like with every 240. Um, they're not virgins. <laughs> I mean, because almost every one of them has been hacked into and all that. This was officially, this was a drift car. And um, I don't know, this rear end might be welded. It definitely looks stock, so nothing special. So it might be welded since uh, then again, they might just slap the motor in it and went drift or put it, went straight drifting. And I don't know. But when I bought it, like I said, it was completely bare. There's nothing to it. Uh, there wasn't a dash there was no interior nothing so i had a car it was the only thing that was really in this thing was just the harness and um it was just a couple spots that were hacked up for mostly i'll say like 95 percent of the harness was actually in good shape so that was awesome right there so what's ha what's missing is i got some plugins around the start around the relay box on the passenger side that has plugins that i don't have nowhere to plug them into i probably got 10 of them right there so i don't know if i have the, if a module or something goes there or what then i got some wires that are cut so i don't know what goes down to the starter i did find a picture of a wire that um that went to the start or not to the starter went to the alternator so that's hooked up I believe that the other wire is a ground so if it doesn't catch fire or not then awesome um, but yeah still starter I know I got a wire going from my key to the uh, small clip on the bottom of it but there's two big uh, threads there what goes there I know power has to go there but exactly how does it go there and that's what I'm trying to remember and trying to figure out what goes there so um, yeah look a little bit more on the internet and see what I can find okay so my little light told me my digital dude told me that's gonna be it let's see oh, I came off of it Okay, you all see it. Come on a second. See you right there. It's upside down, so it's 12.3, 12.5. Off. One. Boom. I need to tap into that wire right there. So it's that wire. Move these wires around. It's going to be the black one with a green line on it. So I'll need to cut that one completely. That's going to be a dead wire. Now I'm going to tap into here and run a wire, same gauge, all the way to the um, um, starter. And that's what I done the last time was uh, my purple one. Because I had the same harness that's around the engine in my purple convertible one. And I did not use that harness because that harness for the body was pretty hacked up really bad. 
So, because um, that's when they, I got the car whenever they did the whole engine swap and all. So, all right. I'll talk more about that purple one when I get down here. But let me get, go find some wire, hook into this black and purple, uh, black and green one right here. And I will be back and we'll see if this car will at least turn over. I do not want it to start. I just want it to turn over. Because I do not have everything connected to that engine. And I do not have all the water lines hooked up. Nor do I have all the oil lines hooked up. Or even the air lines all hooked up. So. I'm shut up and I'm get this done. <laughs> Okay, so it's about 4 o'clock today, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. It's kind of thundering a little bit, sounds like, so it might end up raining, and I'm literally out in, under a tree, so yeah, I'm not going to do it. Um, so, today, I didn't technically get the car turning over like I was wanting to, but at least it was turning over slowly just by doing a hot wire to the starter. Um, after a while looking up online, I did see a blue relay that I know was missing, but I didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't know if it was a starter relay or what actually it was. So I asked the question on the 240SX Owners Club on Facebook. Um, and a gentleman named Dean, he uh, helped me. So awesome. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. So I asked a buddy of mine, when he gets off work, he's going down to his shop to see what he has. He has a, he has a good size shop that has a bunch of 240s um, and a bunch of parts. So if I want anything, I typically go to him to see if he has it first because he's locally, he's like literally 10 minutes away. So awesome. And he in Southeast Oklahoma, I think he's the only one that has a bunch of drift cars and a bunch of 240s. So, yeah. Um, but I did drift off a lot from working on that starter because I didn't want to get frustrated at it. So what I did get is the headlights, at least are working halfway. I don't know if they're out of sync or just the motor's messing up. So I've messed around, I'll figure out those. If I have to, I'll buy new motors. That's not a big, big problem. Um, my turn signals, they were all working. So sweet. Um, I took the turbo off the manifold because one, I don't have a gasket on there. Two, I'm thinking about going ahead and getting rid of that turbo and getting a bigger turbo for it because that's like a, it's a R30, I want to say an RB20 uh, turbo. RB20 or, or something. Um, but I want a, at least a T3, T4 edition turbo um, if I can possibly get a Garrett. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to get one because, yeah. I'm um, just see what I can get locally around here. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I ripped the fender off because I'm tired of the door hitting it and I'm getting new fenders later on, so yeah. Um, mm, I found out that when I bounced the car a little bit, there's something popping right here. Yeah, get the phone right popping right there so I don't know if something's loose in there or what um, I was talking to my wife now when I get this car where it's driving I'm going to put it up on jack stands and then I'm going to go through and make sure every suspension parts tight since I pulled everything off of it and bolted everything back on so yeah it very well could be something under there I just didn't get tightened so um, Hmm, anything else? I did get the transmission wires that connects those two little wire or two plugs that in the transmission. Those are zip tied up underneath the car and they're wrapped so they're not gonna get damaged or not like that. That's ran. 
Um, alternators hooked up fully. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've done today. Oh, well, ECU's in. And the little module that goes into the kick panel's in. So, next with the ECU, i got to figure out where I'm going to put it and how I'm going to put it there. Because I'm not going to drill screws right into the... Uh, um, heat and AC box down there. Then again, I could use Velcro. I don't know, something. Hey, if you have an idea what I could use, or a location to put it over there in the passenger side, where it won't get kicked or anything, let me know. I would like to I'd be a nice idea if there's like a little hiding spot up in there. Um, anything else? No. I think that's it. So, all right. Well, my wife's in there making some homemade mashed potatoes, so we get some get the pork chops we grilled yesterday heated up. So um, first, I got to clean the yard up. I got a bumper laying over there. I got the fender laying right there. I got stuff laying right there, and then I got everything out there. So if it's gonna rain, I'm gonna go ahead and get the area cleaned up. So. Another thing is, later on, fix this uh, trunk, get all the rust out of it, and then do something with these parts. So, hey, look at that. No, wait, nope. This is what my t marker lights look like. Broken and no cover. Oh, wait. I do have one. Huh. So... Is it red on the back? Yeah, red's on the back, so I need two reds and then what are they? I don't know what color goes on the front. Yellows or reds? Get them Google and see what their colors are. But anyway, it's alright, cool. Well, y'all stay safe and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.